The US military is testing in Iraq high energy lasers mounted to striker combat vehicles amid ballooning drone attacks on military and commercial assets. The Army sent directed energy prototypes to Central Command earlier this year. The command's boss, General Michael Carrilla, later said troops were experimenting with the futuristic weapons to better understand their application and an advancement of the Army's short-range air defense goals. We also need to look at not just directed energy as high-powered microwave to be able to go after drone swarms. We do have, I just, the Army is losing its transformation and contact. They've given us three 50-kilowatt lasers that are striker-based that we have inside of Iraq right now. We are experimenting with those and the best and most effective way to use those to help them learn from that to be able to make better systems. High energy lasers and related high power microwave weapons are capable of zapping unmanned vehicles, rockets, and more at a fraction of the cost of traditional munitions. Lasers can fire at the speed of light and burn holes through material, while microwaves can fry out electronics en masse. Both types don't need to be manually reloaded, like a rifle or a tank, but are dependent on power generation, which can be disrupted. Directed energy is considered a critical element of what's known as layered defense, having multiple countermeasures ready to thwart different threats in different situations. Testing comes in the wake of a drone attack in Jordan that killed three US troops. And nearby, Houthi rebels in Yemen continue to pepper the Red Sea and Gulf of Aden with ballistic missiles and explosive strapped unmanned vehicles. General Carrilla in the past said he would love to have more lasers and high-power microwaves in the CENTCOM area. Having them on hand, he told Congress, would mean expending fewer missiles, which can cost millions of dollars a pop. I encourage the Navy to employ uh, directed energy systems. I know there is at least one destroyer, uh, the Preble, I believe, that has a 60 kilowatt Helios. Um, we would welcome being able to bring systems in, but directed energy is not the panacea. Um, it'll be part of a layered defense, and we have to be able to get further out with it uh, to be able to bring down these systems when it's only costing a dollar a shot, minus the acquisition, um, to be able to do that. But I would tell you what's worse than shooting a million dollar missile at a $20,000 drone is that $20,000 drone hitting a $2 billion ship with 300 sailors on it.